Hi guys, it's Ella again from MakeCheese.ca here to help you find your inner cheese maker. Today we are going to be making, drum roll, cream cheese. For a complete list of supplies and ingredients, look at the list below or download the recipe. I'm really excited, can't wait. Tell me what you think, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. So we're going to start with 4 liters of milk and we're going to turn on low heat and we're going to gradually heat this to 86 Fahrenheit. And you want to make sure that you're just stirring gently and continuously. Just no whisking, just a continuous stir. And the stirring and the heating part will take approximately 15 minutes to reach your temperature. So when we reach 86 Fahrenheit, all we're going to do is just remove it from the heat. Now it's time to do the three S's. The first S is sprinkle. So sprinkle in your culture. The second S is sit. So you'll let your culture sit on the surface for three minutes. And all this does is it allows it, the culture to rehydrate. And the third S is stir. And you'll stir gently and you're going to use a top down motion for 20 seconds. Now we'll add our calcium chloride. And finally, we're going to stir in our rennet. After you've added the rennet, you're going to cover the pot and you're going to let it sit at room temperature for 12 hours. And during this time, the milk may drop in temperature, but this is totally normal and it, totally, it won't affect your end result. After 12 hours, we're going to check to see if the curd is set. And what you're looking for is a strong curd. So signs of a strong curd is that you can see maybe possibly whey bubbles that have formed. That's pools of like whey on the surface. And you're also a good way of checking your curd is to see if it can hold a knife mark. So when you pull the knife out, you can see the knife mark left behind in the curd. If your curd's ready, what you want to do is you want to line a colander with cheesecloth. And now you're going to transfer the curd just one scoop at a time, very gently into the cheesecloth. And once all of your curds being transferred, you're going to tie the ends of the cheesecloth together. And that's kind of helping it, it press down and you, you should see your whey drain out a little bit. And you're going to drain it like this for eight hours and you can, e you can drain it all the way up to 32 hours if you feel like it. The difference being is eight hours is you're going to have a thinner, more moist consistency and all the way up to 32 hours will give you a firmer, thicker cream cheese and it also will increase the intensity and the flavor of the cream cheese. After the draining, you'll scoop out your curds and you can scoop those all the way out into a container. And this is the fun part. At this point, go ahead and be creative. You can add seasoning, you can add salt, so all sorts of combinations you can add and you'll stir any of those seasonings into the curd and you'll tightly seal it. And once you put it in your fridge, it's going to keep for three weeks. And over the three weeks, you might notice it gets stronger in flavor as it sits in your fridge and it's ready to enjoy. To get supplies for this recipe and others, go to makecheese.ca. We have everything you need as a home cheese maker. Thanks again for joining us. I'm really glad you came. I hope you had a lot of fun and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks you guys, stay cheesy out there.